Hi guys, I'm here to show you my recreation of Fantasy Star on Minecraft. Actually, I've done just the city of Kaminit, the Parallel Territory and the Spaceport. I based my ideas on a video by Sega Junkie, which I will link on this video's description. I'm using the same scale he uses in the last part of his video, so each square in Fantasy Star map is translated to four squares in my rendition. Later we will see that there are some issues to be solved regarding the scale because the overworld map probably uses a different scale, but anyway, this is just a start. So let's begin by showing you the city of Kaminit. We start in front of Ali's house and as you can see Ali's house is empty as it is in the original game. We're walking now down the street, we're turning left and to your left you see Suelo's house. Inside Suelo's house, I put a bed because that's where Alice sleeps. Here we have the exit and we will see later where this leads. And now we are heading to the church. As you can see, I tried to recreate the interior of the, the places the best I could. Uh, for instance, inside the church we can see the windows, the stained glass windows. The trees in all the city are planted, each one in the exact spot that they appear in the, in the original map, but the trees grow differently in Minecraft. Here is our first store, as you can see this is the second hand item store, there you could see some torches. This one is the food store. We don't have burger, we have beef, we don't have cola, we have potions. And here the weapon store, actually the defensive item store. And this is the whole area of the city. This one, if I recall correctly, is Nakiski's house. Nakiski is the guy who gives you the item which you trade for Meow later in the game. As you can see, you can walk around the city without bumping into things like you did in the original game, in which you could only walk in the streets. And now I'm heading to the city's warehouse. Here I had to make some arrangements, as I couldn't just make the, the, the staircase go in the same direction. This is the dead end, going back we're turning right to the small cell where we will find the chest. Here are some doors and there is the chest. Oh well, look there. 50 meseta. Uh, I'm putting it in the third person view so you can see how it would look. Because we all use it to see this part of the game in first person. So now we're heading out. Back in first person view. Let's sprint so I can show you more of this world. As I was saying, I tried to translate each element in the original map to this one. So the trees are placed in the same places, the tall grass you can see here is the same as the bushes in the original game. Here's the bridge. As you can see, I made rails to simulate what you had originally in the game. And here's the spaceport. I put some minecarts there to simulate the people walking around. And here are the two stores, the two shops we have. Here's the shop in which you get the passport. And here's a food shop. As you can see, I've put the same items as I did before. Those buildings there 
they don't have the same scale as the rest of the buildings in the original map so I kept that just like the original game and here we're walking toward the spaceships as you can see I try my best to render them So let's sprint, so I'll show you the last town. As I said, I tried to make the buildings in the same scale as the original game, so you can't enter them. Same thing here, I forgot to put the, the minecarts in the right position, so you won't see me using them. And here is Paralyte. Right here we have this house, regular house, just like the other ones. There we have the shops and something new in the city is the hospital. Which I will show you right now. Here as you can see I tried to recreate the interior. We had two doors there, I made it two. And I've put this bed here because I thought that it would look more like a real beauty. And here we have the shops in this town I'm just gonna show you this shop because this one is the one which sells swords I put some swords there and now we're heading to the exit so we're going down because as you know those cities are floating over the ground and now we're going down here we have the view below the cities right here there is this little forest which if you look on the overworld map it has two trees by each block and now we're heading to the gates where this goes outside the, the walls and you can find the rest of the world as you can see here's the problem I told you about the scale because the overworld map has a different scale so you shouldn't be walking this far just to get to the gates and now I'll fly a bit to show you the whole map looking from above. Here is the city of Kamenit and I'll just put a comparison here so you can see it. So there, Kamenit. Now I'm flying toward the spaceport and you'll see it in comparison with its map. here and there and now the city of Paralit so you can compare with its map here and now I'm going to show you the whole area view and compare it with its map the overworld map So here it is, and let's see the overworld map, there. Here last but not least, a little view of a map. Well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.